Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm doing What If Naruto Was Natsutsuki Part 1. The story begins with a small Atsutsuki boy on a faraway planet, the homeland of an alien species named the Atsutsuki clan. This young child's name was Naruto Atsutsuki. He was one of the heirs to the royal family, though not first in line for the crown, since he was rather young compared to his older siblings. His older brother was supposed to inherit the crown and lead the Otsutsuki clan to prosperity and victory for future generations to come. However, Naruto never really wanted to become a prince or especially the king. He wanted to explore planets, solar systems, and galaxies. He wanted to see what's in the universe for him, and he wanted to meet new people rather than just kill them, since that was a big part of his clan's history and motives. He didn't want to take over any planet, however he did want to see a planet that he was ordered to destroy. So. At the age of 100 years old, when he was ripe enough, at least in other people's eyes, ripe enough to destroy a planet and to make it his own, or rather, the one of the Otsutsuki, he was sent to a planet named Earth, where humans resided. There, he was supposed to fulfill someone's work who failed at it miserably defeated by weak humans. Her name was Kaguya Tsutsuki, who was sent there with Ishiki. They both failed and had been sent out a thousand years ago. So, after saying goodbye to everyone he cares about, especially his family and most of his friends, Naruto left for Earth. However, for now his intentions were not to destroy it. He just wanted to explore and meet nice people and make new friends. So about two weeks later, he arrives on planet Earth. He senses nine, maybe ten, rather strong chakras. They have some form of Otsutsuki feeling to them, though they're not exactly the same as the Otsutsuki clan. Naruto could also feel an Otsutsuki-like chakra signature that was very powerful on the only moon that planet Earth had, and it was rather large in comparison to the planet, much larger than a normal moon was supposed to be. Perhaps man-made? Who knows? However, the humans, after having lived with them for a few years, seemed completely incapable of doing such things. However, Naruto didn't really get to meet many people whilst he was on Earth. He tried to make friends, though everybody seemed to be very hostile towards outsiders, especially someone with Naruto's looks. That was when he finally decided to go to one of, if not the largest village on the entire planet. This was Konohagakure, the leaf village, also known as the Hidden Leaf. There was the supposed ruler of all shinobi on the planet, the Hokage. Naruto was very eager to meet this person. However, it could also be that he was one of the ten strong chakra signatures. So Naruto prepared with some extra training before he left. However, now he was on his way. There, he met a yellow-haired man walking amongst the streets. This was the supposed Hokage, and whilst he did have a lot of chakra and seemed to be extremely quick and had very fast reflexes, there wasn't anything special about him other than that, except... Mmm, nah. Naruto thought, there's no way this guy can be the leader of this planet, right? Right? When dawn broke, 
the same yellow-haired man, the Hokage, along with another woman and some people who looked like guards, went rather far away from the village, outside of the city walls. Naruto wanted to know what was going on, though didn't want to follow them since he didn't want to get involved in any trouble. He wanted to be peaceful, unlike most of his species. He didn't want to harm anybody. However, about an hour later, Naruto felt a huge chakra explosion. The forest started burning, and the city walls started being destroyed. The yellow-haired man ran around the city extremely fast, throwing kunai everywhere. Almost teleporting is what it seemed like. His opponent? An enormous fox with nine tails. He seemed to be one of the strongest chakra signatures on the planet. And now, they're dueling. Likely if the fox won, he would destroy the village. So with that, Naruto had to do the thing that he's always wanted to do, which was protect people. So he engaged in combat along with the yellow-haired man. After a dragged out battle, Naruto finally gave it his all and decided to completely absorb the nine-tailed fox. This seemed to be the end of the battle, but after that, he sensed a masked presence hiding in the forest nearby. He seemed to be watching carefully. Perhaps he was the reason that this attack happened in the first place. However, for now, they would have to retreat. Finally, the yellow-haired man asked who Naruto was. However, first, Naruto wanted to know who the yellow-haired man was. So, he answered that he was Minato Namikaze, the fourth Hokage, and then Naruto introduced himself as well. However, he didn't say that he wasn't from this planet. He just introduced himself as Naruto Otsutsuki. That was all. There was not much about him to know, except that he's not from here. However, since he didn't want to share that information just yet, there was nothing for Minato to learn, except his name. After a short discussion, Minato immediately went over to his wife and newborn child that was just born on the very day which now made sense to Naruto, since that was the reason they went outside the village, though he wasn't quite sure why they took so many precautions for childbirth. He didn't know about any Jinchuriki or Nine-Tailed Beasts, however he would soon learn that it was much, much more complicated than he thought. However, when they got to Minato's wife, she was slowly fading into a death-like state. The only way to revive her, or at least keep her alive, was to put the nine tails back into her, or wait for a miracle. However, since that could lead to another disaster, like the one that happened that day, Naruto decided to put only a tiny bit of the nine tails chakra into Kushina. The kind part the one filled with love. However, it wasn't half of Kurama. It was a tiny bit. Perhaps even less than 1%. Just to keep Kushina's body as a form of Jinchuriki. To keep her alive. And so Minato's child and wife would survive that day. However, his wife with major injuries. She would recover eventually, however before that, all the village elders, including Minato, and some other officials, wanted to know exactly who Naruto was and how he became so powerful at seemingly 10 years old. Because you see Otsutsuki's age much slower, so Naruto looked like a mere child though he was older than all of them, 
even Hiruzen. After a long discussion, Naruto finally cracked and admitted that he was not from any clan, from Earth at least. He was from the Utsutsuki clan, a clan outside their imaginations. Perhaps they'd even heard of some legends. There was one, Kaguya, though that didn't ring any bells. The only one they knew was Hagoromo, the Sage of Six Paths. The Naruto was unfamiliar since he was half human. Anyways, they were gonna keep the whole alien thing under the radar, at least for now, till they had more information. So they didn't want to cause a village wide panic. It could lead to even more trouble, which they could not use right now, especially after such a devastating attack. Naruto was offered a small apartment and enough food and water per day by Minato. However, all Naruto needed was a place to live, since the Otsutsuki had an incredible body that allowed them to fast for a whole year. They only needed one or two meals per decade if they really wanted to. However, most of them ate every year once. It was a tradition and with that their bodies evolved with it to not hunger and not need any form of nutrition except perhaps from chakra. However, that was just a plus. As if dessert not necessary for survival. For the next few weeks, Naruto stayed in the village. He got to know a few people. Suddenly, one day, he saw a hooded figure. He was so fast, he almost teleported, similar to Minato. However, this wasn't Minato. It was a completely different chakra signature. However, it had, again, some similarities with the Otsutsuki. There was something wrong with the chakra signature above his shoulders, as if his head was about to explode. This was the Sharingan since this hooded figure was part of the Uchiha clan, Shisui Uchiha, one of the village's strongest Anbu and strongest shinobi in general. Naruto quickly followed since he was more than capable to keep up with the speed. He was perhaps even faster than Minato himself, though they'd never tried. Finally, the hooded figure stopped. He sensed somebody was after him. Then, looking behind him, he saw Naruto standing right open, his guard down of course. He knew even if they tried, no one could harm him. Since he then learned that the Ninetales was by far the most feared and strongest creature on the planet, and he could defeat that, so a human wouldn't cause any problems for Naruto. Finally, they started talking. Shisui first asked who he was, and Naruto introduced himself. Shisui then did too, and all the malice seemed to fade away, as if it was a mask to keep others away, as if to say this is my territory. Naruto went on to become rather close friends when finally Shisui, after one day going to the Hokage's office, asked why Naruto shouldn't become an Anbu. He was incredibly fast, had very good skills with Jutsu, and he could even use Jutsu without hand seals, which was unique and incredible at the same time. So, after consulting others, as well as the village elders, Minato agreed. Naruto was now to become 
an Anbu. He would first work under Kakashi, however he would often also do missions with Shisui. When one day Shisui introduced Naruto to Itachi, also somebody from his clan, but a little bit younger. He was a prodigy, especially for his age. He already unlocked his Sharingan. And by the way, Naruto didn't tell anybody that he had visual prowess. He has, of course, the Byakugan, though he does hide that. It's a special ability that the Otsutsuki have trained. Or rather, Naruto has trained to be able to do, since the Otsutsuki are usually proud of anything they can accomplish. However, Naruto wanted to hide that, so it for everyone else, it looked like he had just normal black eyes. However, if he wants to, he can use the Byakugan, Sharingan, and sometimes even the Renegan. He went on to become the most powerful but also feared Anbu in the entire Anbu force. And Danzo wanted to recruit him. However, Naruto declined since he had a rather close connection with Minato and knew that there was some form of rivalry. It's now five years after the Ninetales attack and Naruto is ordered to look after Kushina, Minato's wife, as well as Minato's kid I'm gonna let you guys choose Minato's son's name. You're gonna have complete control over it. So, if you like a name you see in the comments, like it, reply, and I'll choose the one that gets the most likes and replies. Anyways, that's gonna be it for the episode. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace!